Hi everybody, welcome again to the Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated system to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got everything for you right here. So um, we're going to get into some NBA for October 23rd. But before we do, I want to invite you to join us so you have access to all these tools to help you make your picks. And you see here that we have a site that's a little bit upgraded. It looks new, it's a nice new look to it. So Let's take a look at some of these games. So the first one we want to look at here is uh, Portland and Los Angeles. Okay, as you see here, in the first game of the season, Portland won by 7 over Sacramento, while the Lakers are coming off of a 14-point loss to Golden State. Um, if you take a look here, Portland is dead up, and you see on the chart here that uh, Los Angeles is dead status. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the under for Portland in the first game over for Los Angeles. The score predictor has Los Angeles by 112 to 109, a tight margin with you see 73% level of confidence. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator chart, you can see how the Lakers run the downward trend from 12 down to 4, and how Portland was at 9, and they are down to 1. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup from last season, you can see here that Portland won, let's see, Portland won one in February. Los Angeles won the middle two, and Los Angeles won one in November. So you can see that they were two and two head to head last year. In the end here, I like, uh, I like the Lakers. I like the Lakers at home with a win, but I would pass on the over under bet. We got Charlotte and Atlanta. Interesting matchup here. Charlotte is dead up. They are coming off of a win on their first game by a whopping 27 points over San Antonio. And Atlanta is average. They are also coming off of a win 10 points over Houston. The score predictor likes Atlanta in a blowout 127 to 108 with 59% level of confidence. You can see that the over under uh, Charlotte's game was over the line. Uh, Atlanta's first game was under the line. On the power ranking indicator, you can see a big difference here. Atlanta was at plus 16 before their opener. They are now at plus 23. And Charlotte is down at the bottom yet at zero, despite their 27-point win. Um, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchup from last season, what do we see here? Let's see. We have Atlanta on April the 13th. We have Charlotte on March the 16th. We had Atlanta on January 22nd. And we had Charlotte on... December the 5th, and then we had Atlanta on November 20th, so Atlanta 3-2 to two during the head-to-head -head matchup last season. In the end, I think this is all Atlanta, double-digit win in a game going over the line. Okay, the Utah New Orleans, we won't look at that one. The next game we want to see is Minnesota, Oklahoma City. This is an interesting matchup because these two teams met in their first game of the season, with Minnesota winning by 7. And in fact, Minnesota has dominated. They won all four games last year as well. Uh, interesting enough, um, you can see on the power ranking indicator, despite all those wins, you can see Minnesota is only a little bit ahead of them, plus 14 to plus 9. And the chart shows a downward trend for both. So you can see on the chart here how both lines are going downward. This is a linear trend going straight downward. So both teams are going downward on that. Um, if you look at the over-under, you can see the under for both. You can see under the line on this one for Minnesota, under the line on this one for Oklahoma City as well. Um, like I said, in head-to-head, -head, it was all, all Minnesota. And you can see the scores were pretty close, 7 on this one. Uh, actually, not so close, 7. And then this was a 30-point blowout. This was a 37-point blowout. This was 30 points, and the first one was by 8. But in the end, I think this is going to be Oklahoma City, and let's look for this one to be over the trend line. Okay, now the last one we want to look at is um, Phoenix and Los Angeles. So you see here in the first one, if you look at the chart here in the first one, under for Phoenix and over for Los Angeles as far as the over-under goes. If you look at the uh, status, ice cold up for Phoenix and ice cold down for Clippers. Okay, so if you see here in this one here, Phoenix won their game 107-105. And the Clippers here, it was 126-115, so 11-point deficit in their first one. 
Okay, so if you look at this next chart here, which is the power ranks indicator chart, you can see the Clippers had the downward trend from 27 down to 16. You see that trend over a nine day period. And then you see the other trend for Phoenix was 13 down to seven. That was over a nine day period as well. Um, if you take a look at this score prediction, 115, 104. So a, a plus 11 for Los Angeles, and they said 58.2% level of confidence. So that's important to look at as well. If you look at this chart here, um, if you look at the head-to-head -head chart, this is an important one for you to remember to look at. Um, you can see that, let's see, there was Phoenix 2, Los Angeles 2. So you see there was 2 and 2 over the over last season, so that's important to look at. And two of the four wins were blowout wins, 16 for Los Angeles and 17 for Phoenix. So that is important to look at as far as the trends are concerned as well. So in the end, though, I think this is a Clippers one at home. By a few points and if you look at the trend for the line i think over would be the smart play on that one okay all right very good all right thanks all for watching and we will see you next time